Well, I don't think could in any way be any better. And there's home interest as well. Two for Brazil, three for Great Britain. Sophie Hahn, the reigning world champion. Her international teammate, Olivia Brain. Medals across the board. Four by one, very successful. Won the European title this year, the world title last year for Great Britain. Lane three, Jennifer Santos of Brazil. Silver in the one and two at the Parapan Ams in Toronto last summer. Behind, Veronica Ippolito. Gold in the one, two and the four in Toronto. She's the reigning world champion over 200 meters, or should I say she'd won that in Lyon three years ago. Lane five for Germany. Fifth in the one and the two in the Europeans in Grisento, but she's made the final here. It's Lindy Ave. Going for five medals, three in athletics, two in cycling. It's a busy week for Kadena Cox, world champion in a different category in Doha last year. Bronze in the two in the Europeans. Sophie Hahn, the reigning European and world champion. She's won the last two world titles. Paralympic record in the semi-finals. She's the world record holder too, 12.60. Sophie Hahn, much expected of. For Australia in lane eight. The Commonwealth Games, fourth place in the long jump. Fifth in the one and the two in the world championships in Doha, but a good outside candidate for a medal. That's Ella Pardy for Australia. And lane nine for China, the Asian Games champion. Over the one, the two, and the four, and the four by one, it's Chen Yunfei. Silver in the one and the four in Doha, the World Championships last year. Fast track, fast field, and the two great Britons alongside each other in Hahn and Cox. For Brazil, the Olito and Santos, it's all about the gold. Brie, Santos, Hippolyta, Ave, Cox, Hahn, Pardi, Chen. The final of the women's 100 meters, T38. And away they go, and what a brilliant start by Sophie Hahn, magnificently, and Chen's got away well also for China. It's Hahn going brilliantly for Great Britain here. Ippolito also for Brazil, but Hahn is there, and it's 12.62. And unofficially, she's equal the Paralympic record, so close to the world record, but it's Paralympic gold for Sophie Hahn, 12.62, and never really in any doubt. Right from the moment the gun went, that's confirmed as a time now. Paralympic record, Paralympic champion, Sophie Hahn. Hippolito, the silver, cocks the bronze. Well, it's a great Britain night so far. First Hermitage, and now Hahn. And Kadena Cox coming to the party with a bronze medal, and Hippolito bringing joy to the Brazilian fans with that silver medal finish in 12.88. And just outside their world record, Sophie Hahn owns. And with a 12.62, uh, she got away beautifully. On the crack of the gun, she was away. And uh, Chen in the outside lane threatening early. But Hahn too good, driving it to the line. Hippolito, a great race from the Brazilian. And Cox in third. But such a lightning start. Tremendous reaction speed from Sophie Hahn and back to back for Great Britain. Absolutely brilliant start it was by Hahn and also on the outside in lane nine by Chen, but Hahn well in fourth by this stage. Hippolito coming well behind. Cox had held up well in third place and pipping Chen out of the medals in the end. Hahn coming through. And she wanted that gold medal, I'm pretty sure, more than the record. No glance at the clock, steely-eyed determination, looking all the way across, and a look up at the big screen to make sure she was first. This was about the medal and not the time, but the time was very impressive too. She's equal the Paralympic record. Sophie Hahn, the Paralympic champion for Great Britain, 12.62. Hippolyto second for Brazil. Cox gets the bronze for Britain in a race for five medals. She 